us. We're back again with another video. Yeah. And this video is the... Wait, 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 wait. Oh, Maya. Yum box. Universal Yum box. And I think we're going to be probably... And I don't know if we're going to cancel this one. But we're going mm -hmm. to be getting the munch... What is it? Munchkin... Munch pack? No, we, it's something. And they be having some good snacks in there, so... But anyway, this is Universal Yums, and these are different snacks all the way around the world. So, what was that? A mile. It's a fine dish. So, yeah, without further ado, let's start this video. Pause for the cause. Okay. I had to get it open. Stop kicking my chair. So, this time we have... Welcome to Israel. Woohoo! Yeah, we're learning about Israel. We had Italy, Italy, and Ukraine, right? Yeah. So it gives you a little pamphlet about Israel and Shalom is a verse word in the Hebrew language. It means hello, peace, and goodbye. In this setting, we intend for it to mean hello, as in say hello to your new favorite snacks, and it just has like a trivia on here and then it has a list of all the snacks and what they are made of and it also gives you a clue to the next box and it says that April may bring showers but that won't be all it brings. There will be macaroons and mozart balls and other tasty things. These films arrive next month. We think that you should hide them maybe or else they'll vanish faster than you can say hasta la vista baby. Um, I'm pretty sure I should know. Cause where's on a short yeah. from? I don't know, but so yeah. Anywho, let's start up with the snack. So of course, I always do the chips <coughs> first, and the first one is called Bethel Bethel Remix, and it says back in the '70s there weren't any sausage snacks it was available in Israel. There wasn't even a word in the Hebrew language for the word snack. This all changed with the creation of Bisol, a salty wheat snack created by Afum, a former pasta manufacturing company. The name Bisel, or Bisli, whatever, stems from the Yiddish word bite and the Hebrew word for me. Um, it launched its five flavors, but over the years the flavors have consistently been smoky and grilled rather than agonized over which flavor to send you. We've chosen the remix, which contains both. How perfect is that? So it says, pay close attention to the grill flavor. It will remind you of Old Sims origins as pasta manufacturer. Um, so let's say it's flavored wheat snacks. Stop it, Kai. Oh my god, these smell weird. Here. Here. It's my dog food. <laughs> I wasn't even want to say it smells like dog food. Uh-uh. Pick it up. Everybody's about to eat it. Do One, two, three. Oh my god. This is like a dog. Oh my goodness. He broke the thing. Up. Kai. You turd. That was disgusting. Not only does this smell like dog food, it tastes like Fritos and dog food. Okay, don't know if you So that was good. Let's try another Aiden. I mean, Kai. No! Come get Kai. No, Kai. Come get your son. Put him on the floor. Perfect. Let's try another snack. This one is called Bamba. There's only one snack in Israel that's bought by 90% of households, and it's the peanut butter covered corn puff called Bamba. Um, it says that one million bags of Bamba are produced in Israel every day. Um, it says that if you've read any recent studies about how to decrease peanut allergies in children, you've heard of Bamba. Last year, a group of scientists proved that introducing children to Bam Bamba 
or peanut butter at six months of age reduces the risk of peanut allergy. Cool. So let's try this. <laughs> Open here. Now if I see nut butter. I got some of the cotton too. I thought these would be like... What are those? They're not bad. It tastes like peanut butter cheese puffs. Kai can eat that. It's so soft. They have milk in his mouth. Give him one. Those are good. These are so soft. So yum. Oopsie. So let's try the next snack. We have this is called. I don't know what it's called. It looks like this. And this is the Abadi Falafel Mini Bagels. These mini bagels have a standout flavor that makes them superficial. I mean, super special. Falafel is one of the most beloved foods in Israel. You can find stands all across the country selling hot fried falafel with pickles and cabbage rolled inside a pita sandwich. Israelis can't claim falafel as their own invention, but the Egyptians, Palestinians, and Lebanese have all countered, declaring that. They invented the delicious chickpea and bean fritter. I don't like Israel. Sorry. But y'all snacks are disgusting. Thanks. All food. Except for these. These are good. This is peanut butter in these? It's just, it's just peanut Here, butter. Here. It's a bagel. Oh, I hate bagels. You don't even know what a bagel tastes like. And they look like. Oh my god. They look like this. Is the lighting good? Oh, okay. Not bad, but. Not as rushing as the bissel. Let me look I don't like it. I'm gonna get good. Israel, why? What is going on with this? Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll take back this what I said. This is called sesame halva with walnuts. Okay, so this is obviously yuck. And this one is vanilla and walnut aqua halva. And it says they are bought. Their own <laughs> hopes and dreams, and luckily for us, they own way of making sex. Don't lean on a chair. Oh. Um, they cook sesame tahini table sugar and glucose into a special process of making the hot while they cook sesame. Oh, wait. Slowly stirring every batch by hand today, 88 years later, every batch is still hand stirred using the same exact recipe that was created by four immigrants all those years ago. So it says it came from Turkey, Greece, Poland, and Russia to seek refuge in Israel. Okay. Um, glucose? Isn't glucose in plants? It's like sugar. That's that's in plants. So how would they get that out? Okay, nerd. Yeah, nerd. Should I draw your face? Mm. Ooh. Oh my god. What? Oh my god. It's <laughs> like a big boozle. That's so disgusting. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> It's so gross. <laughs> it's like being bulldog. I don't even know what it tastes like. It tastes like tree bark and sweet. Like it gets you because when you first taste it, it's sweet. And you be like, glucose. oh, yeah. It's the good Then the taste glucose. kick in of tree bark and something else. That's it's because the, the, the glucose in it. Shut up. The, get off of me. The next thing. Oh, they gave us a cute little um Ooh. token. Oh. It's a bonus item. It is a. The, it's a game, and but we think there's not time for fun. Gather a few friends to turn to the next page to learn how to play. Oh, so this is a game, and it tells you how to play on the next page, so we'll play with that later. Please, can we have one good snack? The next yeah. thing we have is I thought the, um, chocolate lock, gelt, elite. I don't know what this is. What is this? Ooh. Oh, elite, make you pull it. No, you can't see this. I'm 
I thought the peanut butter snacks was From weird. their missile it defense was. technology to their spy program, Israel has many carefully guarded secrets. We can add in the list the production of this chocolate bar to create the razor thin folds for this smooth, crumbly milk chocolate bar. The chocolate company even uses a secret process. Says the wing of the factory where they make the chocolate bar is strictly off limits to anyone without a special badge and no photographs of the manufacturing process have ever been taken. It sure does make you wonder about what they do to make this little bar have ever been taken. Ish, what? This little bar tastes so good. I'm sorry, I'm just like thinking. They can keep watching. What the hell is it. this? Oh! Oh my god. They can keep watching. Yeah, I'm never. So, exactly. They can keep watching. They so good. No, no, all of this food tastes like garbage. What is that taste? This actually. Who tastes it? Tastes good. It's chocolate bar. Oh, that's good. So, yeah, that was okay. Okay. The next thing we have. Is this elite chocolate bar with popping candy? It's so weird. Ooh, it's like a crackle. Oh my goodness, so good. And it says that a man named Elia from Mexico, I don't know, <laughs> began making chocolate in his kitchen in Russia. Soon after producing his first poly batch, he realized that the Soviet Union was too unstable for launching a company, so he decided to move to nearby Latvia. There, he started a chocolate business called Lima, which became the business chocolate manufacturer in the country. He remained in Latvia until Hitler yeah. came to power in Germany in 1933, and he feared that Europe was becoming too unsafe for Jews, so he moved his family to Israel. He founded that Europe was becoming... God, what are you coming from? <laughs> he founded Elite in Israel in 1934 and quickly became the largest chocolate company in Israel. Today, one of the most famous and fun creations of this chocolate bar filled with popping candy. This is one of our favorite candy bars of all time, and it's much more fun to experience and read about. So we recommend popping a bite into your mouth ASAP. Oh gosh, Mind you have to read all this. <clears throat> yeah, because so many people are in no, mind. Anyway, this reminds me of the Crunch Bar. This in. <gasps> it's like you that, that Crunch. Oh my gosh, this to me. This thing is retarded. <laughs> and it reminds me of um. What's it called? Oh, uh, Charlie uh, and Charlie Factor. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Take it in there. Win it. Oh, this is cute. It's like a Hershey Each bar. get a little bite. Oh. It's like crunch. Hmm? No, it's a cow. Gosh, it tastes like crunch. It tastes like crunch bar. It was like um, crunch. Yeah. Chocolate bar. Oh, yeah. Are you going to hook up the movie or what? Sorry, guys. My mom's like this. God. It's, it's popping good. in my mouth. It's good. I like that. I'm going to eat the rest of it. No, I don't. Then the last thing we have we got another thing. is called mm -hmm. chocolate guilt. This was actually pretty good. It's like this. Thanks for sale of little gold things And it says, um, we don't mean to lecture you with financial advice, but really you should save your money, especially when it comes to these golden coins. During Hanukkah, Jewish children are given these chocolate coins called gilt, as well as real money, to save them later spending game called Drito. There's a Drito inside of your box so you can play, and we recommend using the gilt as part of the ante. If you win the gilt, experience a rich, bittersweet chocolate that will disappear faster than the coins from your wallet. So we're not going to eat this. We're going to play this with the game. Yes. So, yeah. That concludes that video. And, Israel, um, your snacks were not too pleasing on the palate. Um, I kind of want to throw up right now. So, the palate. hopefully next month's snacks will be much better. And we will see you guys in our next video. Bye, love books. Bye, love books. Bye.